Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x divided by 7 is equals to minus x and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of first method. So in first method, you see here, this 7 is divided by left hand side. And when we move it into the right hand side, it is multiplied by this x. And it will be written as x is equals to 7 times of minus x is equals to minus 7 times of x. And now here you see that. Uh, this is the negative term lies into the right hand side and when we move it into the left hand side it is added by x and it will become here x plus 7x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we have this is x plus 7x becomes 8x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here our target is to find the values of x and for this uh, we need to divide both of the sides by 8 in order to remove this 8 from left hand side. So that here we divide both of the sides by 8 each of these terms. So we divide here by 8 and this term by 8. So this 8 and this 8 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here the remaining values are from left hand side we get x only and in the right hand side you see that this is 0 divided by 8. And we very well know about that when we divide 0 by any other number it is always equals to 0. So 0 divided by 8 becomes here 0. So from here we get the value of x is equals to 0. And uh, here uh, in the first method we will get only one root of the given equation and that is x equals to 0. But here in the next steps we need to verify that is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or not or in other words we just verify that is this value of x be the solution or extraneous root and for this we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is x over 7 is equals to minus x this is our given question statement and here we just substitute the value of x is equal to 0 on both of the sides and we check its behavior so when you put it here it will become 0 divided by 7 is equals to this will become minus times of 0. And here you again see that when we divide 0 with 7 it is always equals to 0 and minus times of 0 is equals to 0. So here you see that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied over given question statement. So if it is satisfied over given question statement and we cannot have any other value of x so it means that uh, the solution set of this question is x is equals to 0 only okay so this is the our uh, uh, final answer which we get here from first method and now here in the next step uh, we just again solve this problem for second method and uh, in the second method uh, here first we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is x divided by 7 is equals to minus x so here in the second method we just use a different approach to uh, solve this problem for the values of x so here you see that this is the linear equation it means that this equation has only one root so that now we can find and that root of here okay so that here we use the LCM technique to find the roots of this equation and for this we move this minus x from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become here x divided by 7 this is minus x when we move it into the left hand side it will become plus x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further uh, in order to take the LCM of this term uh, you see that the denominator of this term is 7 and the denominator of this term is 1 so here we need to make the denominator of both of these two terms are same and for this uh, we just multiply and divide this term by 7 and it will be written as 7x is divided by 7 and this whole equation is equal to 0.
and further in the next step here we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes here 7 so this 7 and this 7 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here x plus this and this are gone and we get here 7x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here we have here we need to move the 7 to the right hand side it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 0 so here we have x plus 7x becomes 8x equals to 7 multiplied by 0 equals to 0 and here uh, in order to find the values of x we need to divide both of the sides by 8 and when we divide by 8 it will be written as in this form so this 8 and this 8 are gone and we will get here x is equals to this is 0 divided by 8 and 0 divided by 8 is equals to 0. So this means that here we have only one value of x and that is x is equals to 0. But in the first method we already verified that this value of x is satisfied over given question statement. Uh, so here finally we just conclude about that the solution set of this question is x is equals to 0. So this is the only one solution of this question and this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.